In this lesson we're going to talk about multiplying decimal numbers together. Um, and there's a three-step process we'll go through. And to begin here, let's go ahead and start example one. So that we can kind of do what the steps are telling us as we go through them. So we'll start by just writing um, it in this vertical format that we're used to writing multiplication problems in. So step number one wants us to count the total number of place values to the right of the decimal point in both numbers. So um, 5.6 has one place value to the right of the decimal point, and so does 2.3. And so what I'm going to do is total them up. Total means add them up, right? And I'm going to put that number, 1 plus 1 is 2, down here. Then we're going to come back to this number a little bit later. Um, step number two says multiply the two numbers as if they were not decimal numbers. So in other words, pretend, like instead of 5.6 times 2.3, pretend it's 56 times 23. Well, we can do that. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 5 plus 1 is 16. Put a 0 there for the tens place. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11. So we have 8, 8, 2, and 1. So 1,288 is what we get after step 2. In step 3 it says move the decimal point in the product from step 2, so this 1,288, to the left, the same number of place values as the number attained in step 1. So here's the number attained in step 1, this this 2 that we got. So what it's telling us to do is this. Take the decimal point in 1,288, move it to the left two places. Now at first you might look and say, hey, there's no decimal point there. But remember that a whole number always has the decimal point hiding out over here. It's just that when it's a whole number, we don't bother to write it. So I'll send this back two places and end up with 12.8. 8, 8 as my answer. Now I think that this idea of moving the decimal point back uh, requires some explanation. So um, let's remember that we pretended like this decimal point was one to the right of what it actually is, right? We pretended like it was 56. We pretended like 2.3 was 23. So what we had was each number's decimal point was one right of really what it should have been, right? And so we could think of, think of it as we multiplied each of these numbers by 10, right? Because multiplying by 10 moves your decimal point one to the right. And so since I, was multiply, I multiplied by 10 two times, it's kind of like multiplying by 100, right? 10 times 10 is 100. And so essentially what happened is when I got 1,288, that product was 100 times greater than it should have been, right? So what does that mean? If something's 100 times greater than it should have been, then in other words, the decimal is moved to the right two places more than it should be. So this act of moving the decimal point back is just correcting that error that we made. And so that's why we total up how many total place values we have to the right of our decimal and then send the decimal point back that many places to, to correct the mistake that we essentially made on purpose. All right, so let's put this into practice with the next example. Now look at this one. We've got 3.78 times 0 0.0097. Back in chapter one, when we learned how to multiply, one of the things that we said was we want to put the number with the least number of digits on bottom. And that's still true, but if we have a situation like 0 0.0097, we understand that we're really not going to do any multiplying with these first three zeros. The only multiplying we'll be doing is with the nine and the seven. So I'm going to count uh, the second number here as the one with the least number of digits. So the way I'll set it up is 3.78 times, and I'll still write it out. I'll still write out 0 0.0097, but I'll 
but I'll put that on bottom with the understanding that the only multiplying I'm really doing is with the 7 and with the 9. So step 1 says count up the number of places to the right of the decimal point. I have 2 here, and I have 4 here. Totaling those up, that's going to mean I'm going to need to move my decimal point back 6 places of wherever it ends up. Now, we pretend like these decimal points aren't here now, so I'm pretending like I'm multiplying 378 times 97. And if you want to, you can actually remove them, right? As long as you get this number right here, you can remove them and just multiply it like this if it makes you feel better. I'm just going to leave the decimal points in there and understand that I'm ignoring them. So 7 times 8 is 56, so we have a 6, carry the 5. 7 times 7 is 49, plus 5 is 54. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 5 is 26. Have that 0 there. 9 times 8 is 72, so put a 2 there. And then I should probably erase these 5s I carried so I don't get confused. So 72, so I put a 7 here. 9 times 7 is 63, plus 7 is 70. And then 9 times 3 is 27, uh, plus 7 is 34. So 6 plus 0 is 6, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 0 is 6, four, 2 plus 4 is 6, and then 3. So I have 36,666, but we understand that we need to send that decimal point back six places. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we have one more, 6. And remember, if you ever jump an empty space, you need to put a 0 there. And then also, if you have a decimal point on the far left of your number, you should put a 0 in front of it. So what we end up with here is the answer of 0 0.03666.